Hi guys, welcome back to Makes Up today. I thought as award season, I wouldn't say it's completely finished yet, but because we've kind of got through it, come out the other side, I thought today I would share with you my kind of award season kit staples and things that I literally cannot live without. Um, I'm gonna jump straight into this because it's quite a bit to get through. So first things first, and that is my brush holder. Now this I found on Amazon. For anyone who is wondering, I do have a kit highlight as well um, on my Instagram stories, which has a lot of swipe up links to things. Now this was, um, this is Roe, Roean? I never know how you pronounce it, but um, I've used some of the brushes already. So it kind of looks like this. And then you can actually, uh, you can see it's got like clips, so you can actually clip it so it say, stays, uh, stuck together like this, almost like a shelf. And it just makes working in a small space really easy. It has this flap here to protect the brushes, folds down really small. For a do and go client, the kind of work I do at award season where it's red carpet, if I'm just with one person, that's kind of all I need. And for me, the way I like to work is like less is more. I like to feel like I have everything I need. I can see what my game plan is and be able to attack that perfectly. So. That is a real game changer in my pro kit for like award season. The second thing is a do and go bag. Now this bag gets a whole blog post for itself. So I'm gonna link the blog post down below. I'll pop it in the screen somewhere here so you can see the bag I'm talking about. Bought it off Amazon, another recommend from the Artist Arsenal, which is an amazing Facebook group. Um, if you don't follow it and you're a makeup artist and you're looking for kit inspiration, highly recommend you check it out. I'll pop a link in the description box. Um, but this bag I'd seen loads of other people try it and I was like, I think I'm ready. And it's pretty good. Um, you see the photo, read the blog post, but that is like really been a game changer in getting to places, to and from places with not as much luggage as I would normally have to take. If I had two clients in one day, then yes, I would take a bigger suitcase, but for one person, this was perfect. So very grateful to have that in my uh, life now. Product specific, um, I've got a new concealer entry. So it's like uh, a new launch and new to me. And it's from Dior. So one of the bags that comes inside my do and go kit bag, you'll see I have everything kind of stored like this. And these are the Dior concealers. So they uh, look like this. They almost look like mini versions of the foundation. Um, the color range is phenomenal. I think it's either 25 or 30 shades. I'll pop it on the screen. Um, love the tube. It's quite a big doe for applicator, but the colors I just feel are really, really good. Um, the fit, they're very full coverage, but you can definitely shear them down. If you had a client that wanted a heavier coverage generally, you could use these kind of on top of foundation to give a more flawless finish. But what I love about these is they almost dry down so you don't need as much powder as you do with regular concealers. And they're kind of a game changer in my award season kit. I feel like I use these, every client I use them on this award season, love them. I love the photos, so I'm really, really pleased with those. Um, and I think they're gonna kind of be staying now in my pro kit. Two lip favorites that I feel one has been with me for a long time and I continue to love, and I think I must go through like three of these a year, um, is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Lip Cheap Pencils, especially in, is it Iconic Nude and Pillow Talk? These two, they just, I don't know what I would do without them. They suit so many people. They really help lipstick last longer as well. Absolutely love those. Actually, I've got three lip um, can't live without products in my pro kit. So you guys know I love a more moussey liquid formula, especially if something's like a liquid lipstick. Um, and one product that I love are these by Chanel. It's the Rouge Allure Inks. Um, these are brilliant because when I'm doing a lip look on someone's red carpet, often you leave the client in their hotel, they go onto the event and you're not with them to touch it up. So yes, I will always give them, I'll show you the next thing in a little bit, a little bag that I give my clients, but that's if they even want to touch up their lips, etc. So for me, using one of these underneath, it just creates like a base layer that gives a really nice stain to the lips without the feeling of a conventional liquid lipstick that's heavy or uncomfortable. So absolutely love these. Again, I feel like if you're going to a wedding or an occasion where uh, you're a bride, you want your makeup to last a long time, definitely experiment with kind of layering these under lipstick. They really help it just last that bit longer and fade really beautifully. Another lip launch that I think is phenomenal and I just love, I'm gonna have to decant them down and it's gonna break my heart because they're so pretty, um, is the NARS Afterglow Lip Balms. I love that they came out with more shades of these. Um, Torrid, I think I have used so much. Um, they have Orgasm, I think was the original one they did as part of a couple of gift sets and a standalone one and now they've brought it out in various different shades. So it's nice that there's different shades that suit different skin tones. Torrid is this gorgeous like peachy color. Let's put a little bit of that on. It's so pretty. 
Um, and what I've had to do, kind of like a balmy lip look on people, I feel like these have been really nice, just again, going over the top of something like this, makes a really, really nice combo. Lashes, I feel for me, are a real staple within my red carpet uh, do and go bag. And I've got a couple that I love. So for years and years, I've used the Ardell Not Free um, lashes. I still love those. I still think they're fantastic. Uh, medium and short, and also they do uh, different thicknesses, which I love as well. I've always loved those, but I have two new favorites as well that I wanna show you guys that I've used a lot this January. Um, one is by a lash company called Mary Sten. I think that's how you say it, Mary Sten Beauty. And it's these ones. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Come on camera. Um, these ones are just incredible and you can see they almost have like a straight line across the top So they're really easy to slot into a lash line and very very comfortable as are these ones These are from Nikki lash uh, Nikki makeup. Sorry for Swede lashes um, oh, I've got the lid quite stuck on so I'm gonna hold these ones here as well so you can see but these are also incredible. And again, they come in different lengths and these are called the No Lash Lash. So between those three, I feel like for red carpet, I, I don't often use strip lashes. I have a couple of clients that like them or sometimes I will cut them up into like threes and just add them where I need them. Um, but generally for me, I am a No Lash Lash kind of girl. I like it to look like it's the client's own lashes, but fuller and fluffier. And to achieve that, I like to use individual lashes. I feel like powder is not really a sexy product, is it? It's hard to get excited by powder, unless you're a makeup artist, that is. Um, this one is a new discovery for me, and I've just loved it this season. Um, it's the By Terry Hyalonic Hydra Powder. Um, it just feels like air on your skin. Obviously, there's no coverage in it, so it's great for red carpet. Um, it just feels beyond silk it's like so finely milled it's insane and it just feels like air under the eyes i think it's beautiful especially for people with drier skin i've absolutely loved using that obviously because it's got the hyaluronic in um it's very hydrating um that has been a real staple this season you'll notice i'm doing this in no particular order um but a couple of skincare bits again oldie oldie goldie golden oldie even uh, my sicily uh rose black rose mask i still love this and i have it decanted i need to put a new label on um, decanted into a little pot for my do and go kit. I still love it. I still think it's amazing, especially when um, there's not much time and I just want to be able to kind of tissue off the excess if someone has very dry skin. It doesn't affect makeup. I just love that. Um, then I also have these, the Skin Ice and Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. Again, I've gone back and forth with these. There's lots of brands I like. I love the Elemis ones. Um, what's the other one? The Wonder Beauty ones are really nice, but I think the shape of these and the fact they're not as slimy is kind of why they're a real makeup artist favorite. Um, once they're on the top layer, it doesn't feel wet. It kind of sits really firmly in place without obviously tugging at the eyes or anything. You get that uh, cooling feeling for your clients, which is really nice. And I feel like they make a nice barrier for eyeshadow. So if you do want to do the eyes first, you can pop those on and it just helps you out a little bit too. Then another product which I luckily have a mini for, so I've even been using the full size on myself at the minute, is the Biosense Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. This is so beautiful under makeup. If someone again has drier skin or say they're having their hair prepped and I just wanna give their skin a drink and then kind of tissue off excess or go in with my normal skincare for the particular client, um, I just find this is lovely. It doesn't affect makeup, it doesn't cause peeling. Um, or pilling like where the kind of makeup lifts off the skin it's just so so beautiful and because I have this little pot it means I can keep kind of topping this up from my big bottle at home um it says it brightens and visibly firms I just think it's nice because it feels like a lightweight oil it definitely doesn't feel thick um it just feels really really light and it looks beautiful under makeup one product that I cannot stop singing its praises to everyone really is the uh, Ellis Fast Creamy Eyes. So it's the ones that look like the bullet. And the main reason, I think I mentioned these in my kind of 2019 favorites generally, is because the matte ones, I find finding matte cream eyeshadows is really hard. They either have that very kind of flat dry look um, or they get quite patchy and hard to blend. So these, they did reformulate the packaging as well, so it actually comes with a doe foot now, which is genius, we love that. The colors are gorgeous, like really kind of earthy tones, like dusky pinks, 
really warm browns, like the colors are just really unique, um, which I think is why they're a makeup artist favorite and definitely for award season. I love these to layer. I love them on their own. Um, on Lysler uh, Deliriera for the Golden Globes, we used, I think we used 127 or 126 on her as like a base shadow and it just, there's no need for an eye primer. This kind of does the same thing, um, but you can build really, really opaque uh, looks with these as well. So a really flexible product. A few people DM'd me about blending. I think you just need two brushes and then you're good to go. And start with less, it is a very, very pigmented product, but that's kind of the reason I love it. So another thing that's really important uh, in my red carpet bag is eye drops. Now these ones I love because they are like individual ones. You can just tear one off rather than having to open a bottle and it'd be unhygienic and probably go off not know when you kind of opened it. So I love these, um, I just buy them in packs on Amazon. And another thing that I also do is I do the same with nail varnish remover uh, wipes. Um, obviously I can do like basic nails, but a lot of the time when you do red carpet, there will be a manicurist there. If however there's not, and there's a last minute, oh goodness, they've got toenail varnish on or something that has to come off quickly, these are really, really good. Um, I also keep both of those in my set bag too. Um, so yeah, they're just little extras that help me have like peace of mind when I'm doing a do and go client. The other thing that's important as well when I'm working with a celebrity client is things like scent. I feel like creating a nice atmosphere is really important. So one of the things that comes with me is this. I love this. It's the Byredo Rose um, Rinse Free Hand Wash. Um, and this is really, really nice because I feel like as much as the uh, alcohol, kind of heavy alcohol based hand sanitizers obviously do the job, um, I have those too. I feel like the smell of those can be quite intense sometimes, whereas this is a really nice soft fragrance. So I love that. And I will often take like a nice diptyque candle with me in my kit, just a small one, if there's space and it feels appropriate, just to kind of create a nice bit of a relaxing atmosphere for a client. So that is also a staple in my kit. So I hope that was helpful guys. If you are a makeup artist and you're looking for more tips, especially if you're wanting to get into red carpet makeup, um, I have a course called Level Up that is out now and live. So if you'd like more information on that, I will leave that in the description box below. So go check that out. And um, love it if you guys subscribe. I hope you guys have enjoyed doing your capsule makeup challenge. Now it's come to an end. Let me know how you found it. Um, you kind of feelings after have you kind of missed playing with all your other makeup has it made you fall back in love with the pieces you originally chose um would love to know in the comments down below so i will see you soon guys and take care